She never goes a day without talking to her children, ever. When photos spanning years are all one has. Miranda is a joyful spirit. She's always goofy, hat liking to have fun, cracking jokes. The words of a mother tell the story of the person in them. I mean, she loves her kids. She would never leave her kids. She wouldn't even go days without talking to me. Tabitha Spann, speaking to us from her home in Arizona, was last in contact with her daughter, 30-year-old Miranda Connor, the day before she went missing. I know that she just didn't leave her kids. You know, I know that something has happened to her and someone knows something or they don't, they're not giving all the information. According to police, Connor was last seen around 1 a.m. on February 3rd in the area of East 44th Avenue and Argonne Street in Green Valley Ranch. Connor's mother says that her phone was last traced at around 4 a.m. and was found. Police have not confirmed many details, but say they have Connor's phone now and are still going through it. As the days pass, Span holds on to hope. Says, I'm trying to stay strong for my grandkids. You know, I want them to, you know, that we're diligently searching for their mom and there's always hope for her to come home. Also hoping that the community knows the type of person that Miranda is. So if she found a stranger on the side of the street, she would try to help. I just ask that the community would do the same thing as help her get home to us. Span also tells me that Miranda's two kids who are nine and 11 years old are with her in Arizona right now. She says she came up to Denver to come get them. The Doc Ellis Foundation, an organization that works to help with missing cases that involve people of color, is also helping out. Denver police are asking that if you have any information to call Crime Stoppers. Alex. You have to think about what those kids must be going through to not yeah, have their mom. Absolutely. Hopefully, we can yeah. bring her home. Louise, thanks.